Hello, and welcome to what we hope will be an amazing Segway adventure for you and your group. Today I'm going to show you some of the safety features and how to ride a Segway PT. But first, let's get a helmet. Your guide will assist you with a helmet. Most of them have different ways to adjust. Put the helmet squarely on your head, pull it down, tighten it up. It just needs to be tight enough that it won't come off your head. So to ride a Segway, you have to be at least 14 years old. You also need to weigh at least 100 pounds and not more than 260 pounds. They also recommend that you not be taller than six foot six, but we're not gonna weigh you, we're not gonna check for ID. But if you do have concerns, please bring it up with your guide. Your guide will use an info key controller like this one to power on your Segway for you. The info key is really expensive and is easily broken if dropped. So your guide will be responsible for keeping yours safe. This is what the lights on your Segway will look like after it is powered on, but before it is in balance mode, a single green light. So underneath the footbed are these sensors. This is what tells the Segway that you're on it. So make sure to have your foot centered front and back, side to side. Your guide will have to check that your ride is in balance mode and that you have at least four bars of battery showing on the info key before we begin your tour. So this knob right here is how you adjust the height of the handlebars. It should be within about two inches of your elbow when you're standing up on the platform. The guide can assist you in adjusting it if necessary. All right, so before you begin riding your Segway, you need to know that it's really quite simple and it doesn't require a lot of balance on your part. In fact, what it really requires is for you to just stand up nice and straight with equal pressure on your heels and toes so that you don't roll forward. Take a deep breath and relax. Try to keep your knees straight and your body straight so that you can lean forward and backwards to control your segue. So for your first time of stepping onto the segue, you're gonna to wanna to hold on to both handlebars Put your feet up onto the platform with equal pressure on your heels and toes and stand up nice and straight. Leaning over my toes makes me go forward. Leaning over my heels makes me stop. Tipping the handlebar is how I turn from side to side. So the first time you step on your Segway, you always want to make sure the guide is holding on to it because it's really easy to lose your balance the first time. So grab the handlebars, step up in balance, and then relax. And then once you have your balance, the guide will let you go and you gently shift your weight over your toes to roll forward, over your heels to stop, and I'll even have you ride around a cone to demonstrate your ability to turn around an object. And then of course, We'll ask you to tip the handlebar one direction so that you spin in place, showing us that you've mastered balance. And last but not least, you have to step off without running over yourself, so put a little bit of weight on that toe. Hold on to the handlebars, because if you don't, it'll run away from you. When you bring one foot backwards, make sure to leave some weight on the other foot that you leave on so that the Segway doesn't roll backwards and trap your foot. The Segway calculates exactly where it needs to be, 100 times a second to be directly underneath you. So what this means is, as you're standing motionless, you're never completely motionless. It's always moving just a tiny little bit. So today on your tour, you'll be limited to eight miles an hour. The way the Segway controls your speed, however, is gonna feel a little different the first time it happens to you. You'll be riding along, cruising, and then suddenly you get to eight miles an hour and the Segway's gonna start tipping you backwards. It's gonna lift your toes up. This gap between you and the handlebar is gonna go to nothing. And if you're like me, you might be a little nervous about leaning back, but that's exactly what you have to do to slow the Segway down. Eight miles an hour is as fast as it'll go, but you're still in full control. If you don't like riding full speed, just put a little bit of weight on your heels and it'll settle right down.
So if you ever see a single green light on your Segway, a red light, or any combination of red lights, your Segway isn't in balance mode and would just fall over. Remember, you need to touch one of the foot sensors to place the Segway into balance mode. All of the green lights will illuminate at that point, and with your foot on the platform, they will pulsate around, giving you assurance that your Segway is operating correctly. So your Segway has some built-in safety features to help keep you safe while you're out there. One of them is called the stick shake warning. It sounds like this, makes a vibration that you'll feel in your feet and the idea is that the Segway is telling you that it knows you're leaning but that its wheel can't either keep up with the amount of lean or it's blocked. Could be another Segway, could be a rock or other obstacle. So anytime you hear or feel the stick shake warning, remember, stop leaning, look around you to figure out what is blocking your wheel, and then continue on. So your Segway has lots of safety features to help keep you safe while you're out riding. One of them in particular is that the machine has lots of redundant sensors and capabilities, so it never ever just turns off if it encounters a problem. Instead, what it will do is give you 10 seconds of beeping and shaking, and I'm gonna initiate it now so you can hear what it sounds like. So it's the same stick shake warning accompanied with the beeps, and you need to have your feet on the ground within 10 seconds because at the end, of that long flat line, this Segway is no longer on and it won't balance you. So after you get the hang of stepping up on your Segway and learning how to make it go and of course getting off of it, you're going to be riding around town. There's some things you need to be concerned about. One is you don't want this wheel to strike anything solid. That would cause that wheel to stop. The other wheel of course wouldn't and you might fall off. We don't want that. So keep your eyes open to where you're going. You're a little wider on a Segway than you are when you're walking. Also be careful of loose sandy soil, any place where you could spin a tire. If the tire spins, obviously it's going to have a harder time balancing you. So remember at the end, you're the one driving. Don't run into anything, but have fun!